This is Shane Gibson's podcast with salesvideopodcast.com and closingbigger.net. I've got a great guest today here with me, uh, Jay Conrad Levinson, who's the father of guerrilla marketing, uh, over 20 million books sold in 62 languages, and I've been reading and using Jay's material for years and had the opportunity to speak at the same conference with you, Seminarium here in Chile, and uh, really have had a great opportunity to learn even more about guerrilla marketing. And Jay, maybe you could just share with us what guerrilla marketing is about and what a guerrilla marketer is. Well, what guerrilla marketing uh, uh, is about is going after conventional goals, okay. like profits, joy, balance, but using unconventional means. Because when I wrote the first guerrilla marketing book, I wrote it for kids in my college class at the University of California in Berkeley who had long hair, Levi's, great ideas, and empty pockets. And they needed to market their ideas, but they didn't have money, so they had to use unconventional means, just as guerrillas have to fight in the, their, their battles using unconventional means. They want victory like anybody else. Great. But they can't go about it by the book, so they've got to go about it. I wrote the book so they, would, so they could go about it by investing not money, but time, energy, Fantastic. imagination, and information. Great. With those investments, they didn't have to invest so much money. Now you've had a few notable people as students, to say the least, who've gone on to guerrilla market their way to build some amazing businesses. Who were some of those original students at Berkeley? Well, Steve Jobs. <laughs> Steve Jobs, yeah. And uh, Steve Wozniak. Great. Uh, the Apple guys. and. Uh, all the people who were running, or are now running, Microsoft, uh, from Steve Ballmer on down. Great. And Larry Ellison. Huh. And the people who are the kings now of Silicon Valley were the kids with the long hair and the Levi's in my class. So the unconventionals, so to speak. They were the unconventionals, yes, and they are now all members of the B Club, which means the Billionaires Club. Wow because I just happened to tell them just what they needed to know. And they were geniuses in their field, but they absolutely were clueless when it came to marketing. <laughs> That's fantastic. So what are some of the, I guess a couple of the core principles of guerrilla marketing? Uh, well, one of the core principles is the only number that makes sense for a guerrilla to pay attention to are profits. Great. Because lots of people set new sales records but lose money on the way. Or lots of people measure their performance by hits to a website or traffic into their store. Those aren't the numbers to look at. Profits are the, is the only number that tells you the truth. Yeah. Uh, traditional marketing says, look for your competition so you can obliterate them. Guerrilla marketing says, don't worry about your competition. Think of cooperation rather than competition and find other businesses with the same kind of uh, prospects as you have, the same kind of standards as you have and enter into co-marketing agreements with them. Great. And that means uh, you're sharing the marketing costs. That's so your nice. profits could go up, but your marketing costs go down. Great. So the guerrilla marketing says, don't think about taking from customers, think about giving to customers. We're living in the information age, so give them information. One of the, uh, one of the definitions of marketing to a guerrilla is that your chance to help your customers succeed at whatever their goals are. Fantastic. Growing a bigger business, shooting a better golf score, uh, losing weight, attracting a mate. Marketing is your chance to educate your customers on how to achieve those goals. Fantastic. Now, you talk about guerrilla marketing and the tools we utilize as our weapons, whether it's email, whether it's our website, uh, whether it's a phone call, whether it's networking. Uh, whether it's cooperating, doing cross promotions, these are all weapons. Where do you see social media fitting into that marketing mix? Wow, I I felt the same about I feel the same about social media as I did about the internet. How does it fit into the mix? There's no category for it, and now of course it's one of the most important of all the marketing weapons. Though I still remind people it's only one weapon. Yes, there's still 199 more, probably 1,099 more. But for purposes of guerrillas, I've categorized it into 200 weapons. I think the social media are one more weapon. 
Great. And that, that's going to be, I think, as important as the internet as people learn to use it. And I remember how people looked with disdain at the internet, and many time many people thought, well, this is going to go away. It's a passing fad. Yes. And I think some people may think that right now about the social media, but things like that don't go away. They get bigger and bigger, and your job is to learn to use them. Fantastic. And I think the social media uh, will become a very important part of marketing because it's a whole new thing, but no one knows quite what it is yet, how to handle it, and how to make it work for them. But you know those things. Absolutely. And together, we're going to teach people how to use the social media. For yeah. sure. And the reality is we're going to learn from people who are already using it. Yeah. And we can learn from them because uh, the, the, way, the way it works is that the social media are, are they're in the hands of the people rather than being forced upon the people, the people who are making up the rules. That's fantastic. Great. Well, Jay Levinson, thank you very much for spending a little time doing the interview today. And I look forward to putting together a lot more stuff together. I look forward to it, Shane. It was a whole lot of fun uh, hearing you present uh, at this conference here in Santiago. And uh, I look forward to a whole lot more collaboration. We're on the same wavelength. You are a true gorilla. Thank you, Jay.